My workbench has these holes in it. They're called bench dog holes for inserts like this or metal inserts so you can clamp your wood between the vise and one of those inserts. But those holes also allow little screws and stuff to fall through, which is a real pain. So I wanted a plug for that and I designed one, but then I modified it to put a nut inside of it as well. So now I can screw down and clamp stuff the same way I would on my CNC. And all the pieces except for the nut and bolt were 3D printed. I'll show you how I made this on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week for free by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I found these plugs on Thingiverse from user Brett4. They're plugs for my Harbor Freight bench. I printed out a few using wood filament and they fit nice and tight within the hole. The only problem is they stick up, so stuff will hit it while you're working on the bench. Then I thought, why don't I just insert them from the bottom? But then I want them to be solid, so they're more of a block. And then I thought, why not put threads inside of it? So that's what I decided to do. That insert fits so good, I decided just to import it in. It had nice little crush pins on it. But then I brought a cylinder in and fit it to the inside of it. So then I would have a solid plug. So that was my starting point. So I did that, grouped it together. And now I could have stopped. I had a plug. But then I wanted to go further. I brought a whole cylinder made at 7 millimeters in diameter and this will go into the center of this plug. Now of course things can fall through that hole but there'll be a nut in there to stop it. So I'm not too worried. That's a, still a pretty small hole. So I centered that to the plug and then grouped it together and that was the basic outline. So now I needed to bring in the hex nut. So I grabbed a polygon which is a six sided object in Tinkercad, at least that's what it defaults to. You can change it. And I measured the nut. It's a quarter inch 20 threads per inch nut. So I sized it and I made this hexagon just slightly bigger than that nut. And then I lifted it up so it was right at the top of where the old plug stopped and my new plug began. And I got that inserted, got it centered, and then I made it into a hole so I could see that everything looked good. And then I brought in a, a block and I made it slightly, the same width as the nut, but slightly lower to give me a, a lip for the nut. And then what I did is slid that in. So this is how I'll push the nut in. And then I grouped all these guys together and I had my insert with a slot for the nut. I'll make it into a hole here so you can see the little lip. That's where the nut will snap into place and hold itself in place. That worked good, but now I needed this thing on its side. I don't want the bolt and nut pulling apart the layers. I want the layer lines parallel to the bolt. And to make this easier to print, I don't need it perfectly round. So I just cut a flat side on the side of it and that's the side I'll go on the bed. I brought this into Simplify 3D and I'm going to print it on my Prusa MK2S. It does a great job with small prints like this. And I'm going to print this in PLA at a 0.2 layer height, 50% fill, uh, three top and bottom layers, three perimeter shells, uh, no additions, uh, no supports because of the way I laid it out there. I don't need supports. Cooling is enabled 60 millimeters per second. I sliced it and this thing said it would take 23 minutes and under a meter of plastic. So I sent it to the printer and here's a couple of them printed out. The next step was to insert the nut and it goes in tight initially. I put the point side in and it's tight because of that lip that I designed in. So then I use the pliers to just finish pushing this into the slot and then it snaps into place once you get it there because of the, the lip I created. So this looked good. It was fitting perfectly. I was ready to go to the next step. I designed my own knob in Tinkercad. I used a gear from the featured shape generators and you can adjust the size and shape. So I got it the way I wanted. Then I had a nut for the insert, a hole for the bolt, a cone on top that I was gonna cut off at the top so it would be an offset. I centered all of them and then grouped that together. And when I was done, there was my knob. Pretty easy to put this thing together. I printed a couple knobs on my CR10 at a 25% fill, 0.3 layer height using just the cheap black PLA and they came out excellent. To put the bolt into the knob, I just pressed it into the hole and it, it didn't go all the way in because I undersized that nut head a little bit. So now I just put it into the bench, another hole in my bench, which is a smaller one, and lined that up and then I just smacked it with a hammer and the thing went right in. And then it was recessed a little bit so I used a screwdriver to drive it in further and then the bolt was in and it fit nice and tight and wasn't coming out. I inserted the plug into the bench, just pushed it up enough to it hold and then I used the knob and bolt with a washer to pull it up to the top surface. I kept turning until it was tight and then just took the nut out 
and there it was tightly in the hole. I found these CNC clamps by user Brandroid64 on Thingiverse. I really like the design. It's one piece clamp and another pivot. I printed at 0.2 layer height at a 50% fill. I did use supports, but that broke away. And then the pivot here for the bolt works really well. I like this design. I was ready to test it out, so I found this slightly warped board that says X-Carve in it. I'd use this on my CNC. And I clamped both sides, and it just took this board right down flat, and it was solid to the bench. And as I moved it, the bench just shook. It was working perfectly. These clamps hold really well. This board is solid to the bench. And if I were ever to over torque it or break one, I can just print a new clamp. And there's other clamps out there that I may try. So overall, this is a great solution. If I ever need to get to my bench holes back, I can just push it out and then put another one in later on. So it's not taking anything away, but it's definitely blocking the holes unless very, very small pieces could get through that nut. But other than that, nothing's getting through. So it's a, it's a double solution. Blocks the holes and give me clamps. I love the way it turned out. If you want to print this yourself, I'll put links to the files in the description below. If you like this type of project, check out some of the videos popping up over here. A dollar a month to Patreon is always appreciated, but most of all, please subscribe. Just click on that logo. That way you don't miss the videos that come between Filament Friday from time to time. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.